Hello everybody, this is Luboš Pirkl from CFD Support. I am here in our Prague office with my colleague Radek Máca. Uh, hello Radek. Hello Luboš, hello everybody. So how are you today? I am doing great today, and you? I'm having perfect day today. <laughs> um, are you ready for the webinar? <laughs> yes, yes I am. Okay, and together with us on the line there is Oliver Felde from CF Turbo in Dresden. Uh, hello Oliver, can you hear us? Hello Lubos, I can hear you very well and good afternoon to everybody. Okay, perfect. Um, the same question, how are you today? I'm very fine and I already heard that you are also very fine. <laughs> yes, yeah. we are. Okay. So, are you ready for the webinar? I am. Okay, so very well. Uh, it seems we all are ready. So hello again everybody. Welcome to the webinar on Turbo Machinery Design and Analysis. In today's, webin in today's webinar we would like to show you an easy way how to design a centrifugal pump from a scratch in CF Turbo software and then how to simulate and evaluate it in a Turbo Machinery CFD software. Uh, the webinar is being recorded and its recording will be available on our YouTube channel. I hope everything works well. In case of any technical problems, feel free to contact us in the future and we will gladly answer all your questions and comments. Uh, please let me start with who we are and introduce us a little bit. So this is me. My name is Luboš Pirkel. I am co-founder and uh, managing director of CFD Support. I am here with my colleague Radek Maca. Uh, Radek is our head engineer and senior developer here at CFD Support. And finally, in Dresden, there is Oliver Felde. Oliver is senior manager CAE at CF Turbo. He is, he is responsible for consultancy and software development, uh, especially for the implementation of Turbo Machinery Design Theory and uh, related algorithms. Uh, about the program of today's webinar, so the webinar is going to take about one hour depending on the number of your questions and comments. There will be four, four parts in this webinar. In the first part, which is basically this general introduction. In the second part, let's call it the design part or CF Turbo part. There, there will be a live example where Oliver is going to introduce CF Turbo a little bit. And then he will show a live example of centrifugal pump design in, C in CF Turbo from a scratch with a final export of the designed model to the Turbo Machinery CFD. In the next part of, of this webinar, let's call it the simulation part or Turbo Machinery CFD part. There will be uh, another live example where Radek is going to show you Turbo Machinery CFD simulation and evaluation of that, that centrifugal pump that was uh, exported by Oliver from CF Turbo in the previous section. In the last part there will be a Q&A session dedicated to your questions and our answers. So feel free to put your questions to the special window below. Uh, you can also send us an email to info at cfdsupport.com. We will answer your questions later in this webinar. So feel free to put your questions. It's your time. This is quite important. It's your time. We are here for you. So just use use your use your chance. Uh, yeah. So let's start with the design part of, of the webinar. I'm gonna hand over the presentation to Oliver. So Oliver, will you tell us about CF Turbo? Yes, I will. Okay, just briefly, CF Turbo is a German-based company and has got two offices in Germany. One is in Dresden and one is in Munich. And we have also um, uh, recently opened a U.S. office and that is based in New York City. Our main product is CF Turbo, which is a, a conceptual turbo machinery design software. And it's... Uh, uh, dedicated to the design of any turbo machinery component uh, you can think of and it's based on latest design theory very powerful user-friendly and so on right now we have something like 200 uh, active clients globally 
and we offer in our software suite uh, different modules and those modules are design modules for pump which can both uh, actual as well as centrifugal we offer fans and blowers modules um, compressors turbines status that can be waned or uh, don't have wanes, diffusers and of course volutes. And right now we serve those uh, industries and among them are the aerospace, automotive, home appliance and so on uh, industries. Okay, so that's quite quickly um, what I wanted to tell you about CF Turbo, the company as well as the, the, the program. But now I would like to give a short live demo and to this end I'm going to uh, transport my desktop into the, the web. Um, okay. Can you see my desktop? Uh, yes, we can. It's perfect, Oliver. You can All go right. ahead. Good. Well, so that's the the, the GUI of, of our uh, latest version of CF Turbo. What you see when you start with a design from scratch is that gray desktop and you see here immediately uh, those five, uh, four different um, kind of turbo machinery um, machines you can design. Because it's a pump session today, I'm, I'm clicking on that uh, pump soft button. And the first thing uh, I have to type in is the operating point at which this machine will run at the most time or the, the yeah most of the time because what we do always is a best efficiency point uh, design. So the design point uh, for this pump uh, consists of a flow rate of 450 uh, cubic meter per hour it should produce some head of 30 meters at a speed of 1,800 RPMs. It's also impossible, uh, necessary to to generate uh, to, to define a fluid because the fluid properties are also taken into account uh, when we go through the design steps. Uh, just for the CFD that might follow the design for validation purposes, there is also an inland uh, condition to uh, to be defined, and that's just one bar here. But in the design process, that's nothing which which is um, uh, considered because we just uh, take the pressure differences to 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 make the design. Once I press OK, I, I'm asked by the program whether I want to carry on with the design of a radial or mixed flow impeller, an actual impeller, or a stator, or even a volute. I can start with a volute as well. Because the impeller is the central part of the uh, stage, I'm going to start with, a, um, with the uh, radial or centrifugal impeller. And the first design step is always to define uh, what we call the main dimensions and the main dimensions are just the inlet diameter, the impeller's diameter and the outlet width. And um, one can do that by hand by just telling or typing in directly the dimensions one has in mind but one can also uh, use the proposals made by CF Turbo and those proposals are based on, on different um, numbers, relations and so on which, which come from the turbo machinery design theory and which are all implemented in CF Turbo and can be um, accessed uh, by clicking on that um, appropriate button and just as an example, I'm going to show here the outlet width ratio where the outlet width is given with respect to the impeller diameter. And you can see here that this is um, given with respect to the specific speed. And, and 
for the specific speed of 50, which is um, in accordance to our design point, a proposal would be to, to have a ratio like one point, uh, 0 0.13 and the source is, is Gulick's uh, centrifugal uh, pump uh, book. And we have implemented a lot of those um, relations based on on all the data that is publicly available. You can at any time change this number. You can also uh, override our uh, shipped uh, databases. So everything is is uh, prepared to be customized by the, by the user. Very important is to to get an idea about the the efficiencies you can reach. And again, they are given here, and they are can they can customize. And once all the parameters are defined, one can use that calculate button in order to uh, get a proposal for the dimensions, or one can also check this automatic checkbox. And then after every um, parameter change, you will see that uh, the main dimensions are newly calculated. I will stick to the default parameters and I will take off this uh, button and also what I want to do is I want to just make, uh, want to get rid of this decimal uh, places here. Okay, once I'm happy with the main dimensions I can go further on to the next step and that would be the um, design of the meridional contour. Here everything is represented by Bezier curves and I can grab control points, drag them around and, and, get, and try to find a good design. In order to uh, validate this design there is a very um, rough estimate of the, of the meridional flow implemented based on potential flow theory and you can see here that where the curvature is high you will get of course high uh, Acceleration, acceleration and after again every change of the contour there will be an update of that um, of that uh, flow pattern. You can also right click on any of those control points and type in the coordinates you want to have and that's what I did just with, with that impeller location once I hit OK, I get in the meridional view this kind of uh, 2D image of it, but also I get a 3D impression of what we have um, designed so far. So that has have been the first two design steps. The next step is to uh, define and set leading and trailing edge um, blade angles. Especially the, the, the trailing edge angle is very important because that angle is responsible for the, for the energy to be transported or the, the head you want to reach. I want to have a freeform 3D uh, shape of the, of, the, of the blade. That's my first choice and at the second top I can again have CF Turbo uh, calculate the necessary blade angles but I can also type it in by myself. So what we also take into account is uh, the, some theory about the um, slip at the uh, trailing edge and one can also define a certain incidence if, if, uh, if this is uh, necessary. If I again click on that automatic um, checkbox you can see what happened if I change the number of blades so because the the slip will be, get bigger after changing the number to a smaller value the blade angle at the trailing edge is, is going to increase. Okay I'll leave it on, on five um, uh, numbers of blades and Nothing happened so far because that was only about the blade angles. But if I go now into the next design step, I can see in the preview how the uh, blade would look like with a zero thickness like that. 
and I can again change mean lines by dragging around control points of this Bezier representation and can see immediately what happened in 3D uh, plus what happens on the relative velocity in the uh, blade to blade passage on a certain mean surface. This again uh, is based on, on potential flow theory and uh, it can help to, to find a good preliminary design. Once I'm happy with that, again, I can press OK and now I see something in the 3D model and um, the model now consists of blades with a zero thickness and uh, because I want to have a certain thickness, I need to open um, the next design step and here we have different modes uh, about putting the uh, or adding some thickness onto the mean surface and that's the most simple one. It's, it's linear but it can also be freeform and again applying um, Bezier curves and one can round the leading edge and one can even uh, incorporate some profiles from a built-in profile manager. But I want to stick to the simple uh, case which is uh, the, the linear one and I said OK and in the 3D model it looks now like, like blades with very sharp edges and that's why the last design step is the one where leading and trailing edge can be somehow shaped. So the leading edge for instance can have an elliptic shape and very often the trailing edge is trimmed on, on the outlet. Okay and by doing so I'm very quickly uh, ready with, a, with my first initial design of the impeller and I want to save that and call it pump one. But this, that's not a complete um, stage. It at least needs a, a volute and to this end I am, I'm going on to the, the outlet interface and add a new component and the component is of course the volute. Again, the first step is to define the, um, the main dimensions which are the inlet diameter into the volute as well as the inlet width of it. Again, there are some proposals made by CF Turbo. Uh, those can be taken or they can be overwritten. Next design step is to tell what is the general shape of the cross sections. We have implemented a couple of those and they can be uh, just trapezoidal, uh, round, asymmetric and so on. They can be also line segments and with the line segments you can add some extra points and, and by doing so you can just um, define any shape you want to have. It can be symmetric or not symmetric so I could also have on the other side a different uh, shape and last but not least I can also have, ch have a change of that shapes uh, with respect to the uh, wrap angle. But again I want to stick to the most simplest one which is the round one and want to, to leave it like that. Uh, once I have chosen the, sh the general shape I have to design the development of the size of the cross section with, the, with respect to the wrap angle and that's done here in the um, spiral development areas. There are different modes that can be chosen from. Uh, one is what we call the velocity based one. Here we take the, the average circumferential velocity coming from the impeller or it can be also just a geometric uh, based one where the, the last cross section is chosen either with its radius or with the area and between uh, the beginning of the spiral and the end there is a certain progression to be defined which can be constant, linear, spline, polygon and so on. Again I leave it on, on the default and if I now go to uh, the 3D model 
I see something what I would expect. Um, going back to the meridional view, make a fit, uh, put a diffuser on it with a certain outlet uh, diameter and a certain height, for instance 300 millimeter. It's very simple and and in 3D it looks now like that and the, the only thing that is missing is, is the cut water here and that's the, the very last design step for the volute. And here I'm choose one of the three design modes and that one is, is the, the fillet mode and I have to define a certain radius here. I can do again a, a preview here and once I hit that button I'm almost done uh, when it comes to the design of the, of the stage. What I want to show you right now is how to uh, design a spinner uh, rather than an, an axis design like it is done here. So because everything is fully parameterized, I can go back at any time to any of the design steps. And so I'm going back to the uh, main dimension design step of the impeller, typing in a hub diameter of zero in order to uh, design this spinner here in the meridional design step. Very often you have the opportunity to right click onto any of those active uh, components and a context men menu will appear and you have a lot of more functionality there and I want to make use of the uh, functionality of adding a contour of that uh, in front of that Bezier curve. So that's one thing and and again another one is, is to be done here. And if I right click on the control points I can um, type in the coordinates of, of that uh, control point I'm interested in. So for instance the connection point should uh, be on 40 millimeter and maybe let's say 16 in radius and it should be tangential if that is possible. Yes, right now it's possible and uh, I also can give him a certain angle here and, and then I'm already done. And if I go back to uh, to my 3D model, I now have a spinner here and I can just place in front of the complete stage uh, and pipe. And that's what I want to do. And the pipe should be a pure actual one with a certain length, so for instance 200 millimeter. And I can jump from one design step to the next just by using those icons here instead of pressing OK and choose it from the meridional view. So I go to the meridional design step, make hop and shroud straight and, and that's it. Okay, um, what I also can do is I can have uh, solids on hop and shroud at, at uh, impeller and stator. And that's something I only want to show quickly. To that, to that end, I'm going to marry uh, yeah, to the meridional contour design step. Tell him, him have a hub and a shroud contour, and and here I can again right click on it, split curves, drag control points around uh, like that, uh, split it again put control points everywhere I want to have it and maybe um, yeah introducing or, or telling him exactly the position where where it should go to 
Okay, anyway, if I go back to the uh, 3D model, um, I now have, I hope you can see it, a 3D uh, representation also of the, of the material solid given here. And because this is uh, an initial design, it has to be validated uh, by CFD and uh, that can be very conveniently being prepared by CF Turbo. And so that's why I'm activating this um, CFD setup, which means it prepares everything for the design, for the uh, CFD design. Once I'm pressing OK, I should see uh, a segment like that. And, and I have to do something similar for the volute as well. Here I have to close that gaps and if I want I can also um, add a outlet pipe if I want. And if I go on the volute here, then everything is closed and most of, of it is, is prepared for, for the design. Okay, last but not least, that had, has to be done for the stator as well. And in order to finish all the preparations for the design, I also have to uh, do a final step, which is called solid trimming and the solid trimming is a design step or a, a preparation step uh, where um, by 3D Boolean operations um, some uh, the solid is generated and here one can also give um, ready at, at hop and shroud for the for the blades and that's something I want to do and once that is ready I hope I, yes, I can show that in the 3D model and if I then make only that material domain um, visible, you see here that's the, the hub solid radius which I just defined and if I switch off the volute, you can see what we have uh, what we have done so far. And my last step before uh, giving the stick to Radek is to show how to make the design, uh, the, the, the the export for the turbine CFD. And to this end, I open the the export panel choose all the components I want to uh, put into the CFD model, give the one a name, um, have it saved somewhere on my computer, maybe change the uh, parameters for the export. I want to put it, uh, change it to course in order to save a bit of, of, of time. And then I can start to, to export and what is done is all the necessary geometric data which are STL data with certain names are exported together with a TCFD uh, control file which holds all the necessary information including um, boundary conditions and so on. And that's, that's it for the time being and now I'm uh, Happy to to give the stick to Radek. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Oliver, for your contribution. Thank you for the turbomachinery design part in CF Turbo software. It was very impressive. Thank you for it. It it looks so simple to design such a pump. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the pump now was born. It was created in CF Turbo, and now it's time. It's time to switch to turbomachinery CFD part of our presentation. So, uh, yeah. So let's continue with the with the the simulation and evaluation part of this webinar. So, let me give a brief description of what is turbomachinery CFD. So, turbomachinery CFD is a unique software developed in 
Czech company, CFD support. It is smart, it is uh, easy to use, and it's very affordable CFD simulation tool. Uh, Turbo Machine CFD was designed for CFD simulations of all rotating machinery, such as pumps, fans, compressors, turbines, turbochargers, hydro turbines, etc. Both radial and axial machines, both compressible and incompressible fluid flows. Uh, it's based on open foam. And we believe Turbo Machine CFD is unique, at least for four reasons, so I will quickly go over them. So, Turbo Machine CFD has, number one is Turbo Machine CFD has no licensing policy, which means our clients can keep Turbo Machine CFD forever and they can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs or cores. Uh, what is paid for is the first delivery and technical support and the software maintenance. This gives the investment in Turbo Machine CFD a permanent value, of course. Uh, and also, this means our clients can scale their CFD simulations in a really big way. Uh, number two would be Turbo Machine CFD is fully automated, which means all the workflow from the initial data to the final results report, it can be run by a single click or a single command, and all the process is being done automatically. For this reason, Turbo Machine CFD is it's extremely effective. Uh, number three uh, would be we deliver uh, extraordinary technical support, we are proud of it. We keep custom approach to every customer, to every issue. We never leave behind any of our clients and we are very flexible in it. Technical support is unlimited and we support our clients even out of the matters of turbo machinery field, for example in numerical mathematics, physics, CFD, IT or even software engineering. And the fourth one is the, the real tutorials are included in Turbo Machine CFD, which means uh, the Turbo Machine CFD user has no doubts about the best practice settings. So there are included the real machines that are already preset. So user can basically take one of those tutorials, replace the geometry with his own. Uh, you can, you can, he can modify the settings uh, and just run the simulation. The rest of the workflow is automated anyway, so the requirements on the user's CFD skills are very low when, when you use the machine CFD. So these are the uniquenesses. Um, there are also many other benefits of using Turbo Machinery CFD. I'm not going to go for all of them. I will only finish with my last point here that here at CFD Support we believe uh, the future of CFD is the automation. In CFD, everything can be automated, and the automation is extremely effective. It's even more effective than we expected in the first place. So in, nowadays, uh, at CFD support, we only think in automated sense, which brings a huge value uh, to our users. Uh, okay, so this was this was just briefly about Turbo Machine CFD. Uh, now it's time for the life example of. CFD simulation of the pump which was created in CF Turbo just a, a minute ago uh, by Oliver. So now it's Radek's turn. So Radek, are you ready? Yes, I am. So please hand me your presentation. I can start. Uh, okay, so it's your turn now. So let's get to the action. Okay, so now I hope you see my screen. Yes, we, yeah, yes you can see your screen. So go ahead. Okay, yeah. so hello again. Uh, this is Redex speaking. So I will directly start with the practical part and uh, during this part of the webinar I am going to show you how easy it is to work with our Turbo Machinery CFD. So basically you can start really from scratch but for now we have our work is very very uh, very easy because we use the export from CF Turbo and using this export it is even easier to run a CFD simulation and get get the significant result. So I will I will start right now. So we simply start from the data which uh, which Oliver has just generated and exported. So I have here in the CF Turbo from Oliver and basically here there are just the input STLs. So this is the geometry generated geometry in the STL format 
and the configuration file. So uh, the configuration file simply contains the imported parameters for, for our software. Basically, it defines the simulation and it defines the geometry. Okay, so um, uh, for the first computation, as, as, as Lubos already said, all is automation, automated, so there is no need to change anything and we can start directly using it. So to start working, you need just to click click on the configuration file and the new Paraview session with the TCFD setup will appear directly. So this is a standard let's say, appearance of Paraview. In the left you can see the pipeline browser in which the configuration file is already loaded and to start using it just click click on the apply button. So now as you can see the layout button is split into two windows because our uh, our mesh our geometry is already preset preset thanks to the CFG, CF Turbo export. So now we can see the input geometry and in the uh, right window we can see all parameters which is which uh, has to be set for the computation with with its default values or with, with its preset values. So we have developed this graphical user interface directly inside the Paraview which is a standard third-party software directly delivered with standard open form and directly here you are able to set the TCFD computation so you can modify the setup, you can run the simulation and also you can post-process the results. So it means that 100% of the workflow can be managed direct, directly here in this GUI and we provide both of course both Linux and Windows versions so now I am working in Windows. So as you can notice here in the left properties menu there are or in this panel there are several menus using which you can change change the setup of the simulation. Basically there is no need to change anything because everything is preset so therefore I am going to make just a brief overview of this. So basically here in this general menu you can load the preset TCFD file, you can save it of course and you as you have to choose which which machine you would like to simulate. So in this case it's of course the pump. In the coordinates you just define the axis of rotation. In the geometry there is you can there is a parameters to scale the geometry because OpenFoam uh, works implicitly using the unit meters. And for example, if if the CF Turbo gives the geometry in millimeters, so we have to scale it. In the physics part, uh, you simply define the fluid properties. And for pumps and water turbines, you can enable the cavitation risk, which at the end of the computation tells you the information about possible cavitation. So anytime, of course, anytime you can you change anything, you should confirm it by clicking on apply button. Well, the next menus, for example, turbulence, of course, you can change the turbulence model. Uh, quite important part is the speed lines. So from CF Turbo, you have uh, you have this setup for one point which corresponds to the best efficiency point. But if you would like to validate this best, best efficiency point, it is convenient to add more speed line, more points or speed lines. But for pumps, usually the pump is uh, designed for one revolution, one rotation speed. So you should, for example, add computational points and each point carries different uh, simulation condition. So usually for for the pump, we set the volumetric flow rate at the inlet. So for example, if the best efficiency point will be designed to this volumetric flow, flow rate, so I would like to, uh, for example, set different conditions to, to, to see if, if these conditions corresponds really to the best efficiency point. The same for the outlet condition, but there is a standard setup for incompressible cases, so zero uh, static, uh, zero kinematic pressure at the outlet. 
okay so this was the simulation condition let's say <clears throat> and I can go further so in the simulation there is important parameter processors so you, you should change it with respect to your machine and as Lubos already said there is no limitation so you can use any number of processor of course we provide steady state or transient simulations and of or, or you can change the, uh, the numerical or order first or second okay and in the numeric there are some advanced parameters to change relaxation of algorithm but there is no need <coughs> to change anything in this menu initial condition here is just prescribed initial initial guess for the for the computation and inside the components part there is defined there is the defined geometry so our software generates the computational mesh automatically using snappy x mesh and here is the here you can define uh, your geometry so the strategy is or the strategy of construction of, of the computational mesh follows the construction of of the design in CF turbo so basically the, the machine is split is split it into or split into three parts in this case so stator part rotor part and the green volute part and each component is preset in this in this panel so basically you uh, you assign to each STL you assign a type of the boundary level of refinement you can add boundary layers and the treatment at the interfaces so there are two options uh, arbitrary mesh interface or if this number is greater than one it uses mixing plane approach so this is done for each component <clears throat> and for example what is important parameter is background mesh size so for example if you would like to increase the amount of cells in your mesh so you should decrease this number okay anytime if you if you for, for example if you starting from scratch <clears throat> sorry and generating your own geometry exported not from CF Turbo so it is useful this figure which tells you the topology the topology of your mesh so anytime you change anything it will appear directly here so it's really nice when you constructing mesh from scratch well other menus contains the meshing option basically it contains all parameters uh, from snappy hex mesh in the post processing <clears throat> in the post processing part uh, uh, you can define here the interfaces which is used for evaluation efficiencies pressure pressure drops etc et so you will see it in the um, <clears throat> in the manager oh, sorry sorry in the in the report in few minutes and of course scripting part you can here you can define your user defined function so anytime you are satisfied with your setup so you should confirm it clicking on apply button and afterwards there is a, a special a special filter which is called TCFD manager and it is used to run the simulation so I will enable, enable it and now in this, this left panel you you will see several several buttons using which you can run the simulation so basically here is the output path where your simulation will be stored you can define your or your own uh, directory name in which the simulation will be stored so I will set for example my case and then I click on write case so this process creates the standard topology it creates all necessary files and directories to run to run the simulation and afterwards the case is <clears throat> saved we are able to run the simulation by one, by one click this automatically run or we can run the simulation step by step so first first create the mesh to generate the mesh we can separately build each component or we can mesh all component components at once and afterwards we can run the calculation 
So I will click on the run all and you will see the progress. So at the beginning, the component one is meshing and, and it continues in this way. So if I jump in time, so here I have, here in this case, I, uh, uh, I run before the webinar started. So as you can see, uh, all mesh is all mesh is gener generated because this mm, uh, these menus are green, and here you can see the progress bar. So, for example, this simulation contains seven points to be computed, and now the last point is computed, and you can see the guess uh, how time does it take to to finish the simulation or to finish each point. Any time during the simulation you can update the report, so it means you can see the progress of the simulation uh, anytime, not only at the end of the simulation, but, but, but anytime during the simulation, and it will appear here. And uh, anyway, at the end of the simulation, this report appears automatically. So you can see it right here in this, in this panel, so directly here in Paraview, or you can go back any time to the to the case in which your case was computed for example here in my computed case and there is a directory report and here is the report in html format so anytime i can open it and and see and see the results so i will go just quickly through it so in the first block there is the overall information about the simulation like machine type number of points uh, mesh size and other other import uh, other useful uh, useful information for example in this case i run on our cluster on 24 processor and all points take just seven minutes to compute here you can see the residuals during the computation uh, for each point and the flow rates during the simulation. Then there is a several parts in which you can find the information about the given given parameter or given variable which which is automatically uh, evaluated. So for, for example first is, first is the head and you can see here in the left you can see the uh, you can see the list or the table of of the values for each point it means the initial condition or inlet condition and the head for this point and all is plotted in this figure and in this figure you can see the convergence process of this variable or of this parameter and the report contains many of these parameters so important one is the efficiency so as you can see the point number four with this flow rate is the best efficiency point so you can clearly read from this figure how your how your machine behaves for each condition you can see the efficiency progress again torque for each point again all is plotted in the figure and in the figure of the convergence process total pressure difference at the inlet and at the outlet total pressure per interfaces so we can check the pressure at each interface it mean at the inlet to, the, to your geometry at the interface between for example inlet pipe and the rotor rotor part and so on and another bunch of information for velocity magnitude per interfaces circumferential and meridional angle so we can we can check the angle of attack into the rotor for example the, or the values of angles and because we we have enabled the cavitation risk so we can see here the cavitation risk in percentage of the volume so this is the first information about the cavitation so we can see that for for the largest head or the lower lowest flow rate there appear cavitation so the largest cavitation has 0.01 percentage of overall volume so this was the report which is automatically generated and this what's this uh, let's say this was or this these are the information in written form but anyway anytime you can use your own visualization so if you go to the to the case and click on this case form so new paraview will appear and directly inside you can 
you can uh, visualize what you want. So I have prepared few visualiz visualization images or examples. So here you can visualize overall geometry, for example, with pressure distribution. You can visualize just a part, any part of the of the machine with, for example, total pressure distribution. You can make any slice with, for example, with, with the glyphs or with arrows of the flow, which is directly fitted to this surface. And for example, you can also visualize the streamlines in any part of, of the domain. So you can use any filters which are, uh, which are implicitly in the paraview. For the turbo machinery, we have developed another useful filters. So first one is, for example, meridional average. So you can see the average uh, on the axial sim or axis symmetric parts, for example, on the wheel. So you can see nicely the pressure drop on the, on the wheel. You can also uh, use the filter turbo unwrap, which shows you blade to blade view. So for example, you can see the pressure distribution uh, at at the uh, at the blade at the blade to blade view, or you can also create the slices between hub and shroud. So in in a given percentage, so at, at a given radial coordinates, and on this slice you can again evaluate what you want. For example, the streamlines with the pressure distribution. So you can check the angle of attack and so on. If there is some red circulation or any other parameters. And last but not least, what I would like to show you is, for example, the cavitation risk. So there is a field which is called cavitation and holds the information in which cells the cavitation may occur. So for example, this is the result for this flow rate. So I can skip between points to see for which set up the cavitation appears. So this is nice visualization of the cavitation. So maybe this is the, the last thing, last thing I, I would like to show you. So maybe my, my time, my time is up. So, okay. so just to conclude, so uh, as you have seen this, the TCFD is a great and easy to use and powerful weapon for the detailed evaluation. You can uh, evaluate uh, always anything you want. And basically the, the process is really simple. In CF Turbo, you design your machine. And then by few clicks, even without any deep knowledge of CFD, you are able to validate your geometry. So you just quickly, quickly generate the STLs and the configuration file in CF Turbo. And by a few clicks, you are able to run the simulation and see the first results without any need of modification. So I, I, uh, I believe that using CFD for turbo machinery evaluation has never been easier in this way. So, OK, well, my, my time is up. So I have to hand the presentation back to Lubosh. So Lubosh, are you? OK. Are you ready? OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. So thank you, Radek, for your live example of, of the TCFD simulation of of the centrifugal pump, what has just Oliver designed in the CF Turbo. So I'll, I'll take the presentation back back to me. Um, OK. So yeah, so this was the TCFD live example, which brings me to the yeah, to the Q&A session. So now it's time for your questions and our answers. So please put, put your questions uh, if you have one. We will get to it. Uh, and before we start answering your questions, we have a simple poll uh, about your interest. So I will, I will, I'm going to start it uh, right now. So we would like you to vote. We would like to, you to vote. Uh, what what is your interest? What are you currently interested? So whether it is CF Turbo or or whether it is uh, Turbo Machinery CFD or whether it is both, like a complete workflow. So please please uh, do give give us your vote. So make make your uh, vote um, right now. I will I will keep this active for a couple of seconds. 
So we are obviously very curious on on your on your preferation preferences. So let's wait another let's say ten seconds. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, so last last few seconds. So make your votes, make your votes, make your make them, and I I stop it three, two, one right now. So I'm closing right now, and also I will share I will share the I will share the uh, what what are the results. So I can see 30 percent of people are interested in turbo share design and CF Turbo. 26 percent are interested in TCFD. And also 44% is interested in both, which is very important for us. Uh, okay, thank you for this, thank you for this. I'm going to hide this, this poll, thank you for it. And let's get to the, to the Q&A, so what we have here. So do we go one by one? Yeah. Okay, okay, so. What meshing tool have you incorporated to the mesh to mesh your geometry? Thanks uh, from Milan Secular Arts. Uh, so, will you, Radek, can, may, may I ask you to answer this? Which which meshing tool do we use here? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are using uh, standard snappy hex mesh. We are using standard snappy hex mesh, and uh, with the uh, preset values. Let's say with best practice, with best practice values, and I hope you hear me. Yeah, perfect. So this is the type of the mesh which the person makes generated. It's standard uh, hexadominal mesh. Uh, it's unstructured mesh, but it can it can mesh almost any type of uh, any shape, and it is really robust. Yeah, it is not so nice like a structured mesh, but this is really useful, and our experience experience with this type of mesh is very well. So yeah, we are using standard SnapX mesh tool for meshing. So and the whole process is automated yeah, with respect to the CF Turbo export with the given parts of the geometry and so on. But anyway, if you need to modify it to your needs, you are able to do it with these settings. So you can basically change anything, any parameter in Snappy X Mesh using these these menus on the left. Uh, okay, another question. Thank you for this, uh, Radek. Uh, another question of this kind: uh, where to define fluid properties? Oh, from, sorry, from sorry. I didn't. Okay. So I didn't share my screen, so it was a mistake, I guess. But I, yeah, 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 okay. I show some. Okay, it's okay. okay. We have had you. So, so another question of this kind: uh, what, where to define the fluid properties uh, from Taha? Puma, okay, Puma. I can show it. So, I don't know if you see my screen now. Yes, we, yes, we do yeah, see perfect, it. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, go ahead. So, I will go to the settings part, and here, 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 uh, in the, in the physics, there, there are fluid properties. Yeah. So basically. Dynamic viscosity for this is incompressible case for the pump. So there is defined dynamic viscosity, reference density, and reference pressure for for the evaluation of uh, of some parameters. Yeah. So here, basically, the important one is the dynamic viscosity and the reference density. So the fluid properties are defined here. So I hope I answered the question. Okay, so uh, yeah, there are, there are so many questions. By the way, it's it's full. I, I mean, the room is full, so nobody okay, else, so nobody maybe else I can come. go because I, I I see few of them to to be answered very quickly. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, another another question: uh, Is it possible to include the the leakage pass passages uh, in CF Turbo from Farzam? So I guess this is the question on CF Turbo. So, so Oliver, uh, may I ask you to answer answer this? Yes, I can answer that very quickly. It's possible. It's just um, another option you have to set in um, in in the global setup and uh, in, in the main dimensions where you can say whether it, the impeller has to be shrouded or not. So I can. It's just uh, Oliver, a click away. Oliver, yeah. do, you, do you want me to switch the presentation to you? Yes, yes, that would be nice, yeah. Okay, okay, so I'm making you a presenter right now. Okay. 
Do you see the okay, screen? Now, yeah, yeah, we, we do. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so quite simply, go back to main dimensions to the first tab and there is the checkbox unshrouded. And if you check that, you can type in a certain gap between the casing and the, and the blades. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger because then it's, it's, oh, it's uh, easier to, easier uh, discernible. And if I click OK, I hopefully get an update of the 3D geometry. Uh, clicking on default and now there is a gap between, well, it's probably better if I just, there's a gap between, I hope you can see it, between the casing and the, and the blade. Okay. That's okay. 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 Thank you, Oliver, for for this contribution. Uh, so yeah, we have so many questions. So we, we have to we have to make a deal uh, at what time we, we, we stop. So so let, let's give it uh, let's give it ten minutes. Let's say so so we are going to stop at about yeah uh, ten past uh, ten past uh, four. So okay. So there are so many questions. So uh, uh, for example, this uh, which formats like step or I just. Uh, of Turbomachine CFD software can support from Saresh question. Yeah, so I, I will quick, quickly answer this. Uh, we, we currently, the Turbomachine CFD supports only uh, uh, STL format. So it's, yeah, it's so simple, uh, only only STL. It's it's stereolithography. It's it's very standard. Almost all preprocessors or CAT systems can export in STL. So we, we stay with STL and yeah, so it's just the STL uh, for now. Uh, uh, which which turbulence models are available? The question from Taha. So again, quickly. Uh, uh, currently, in the in the user interface, there's k omega SST, k epsilon, and and laminar for 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 various tests, and those are just in the graphical interface. Of course, Turbo CFD is fully compatible with standard OpenFoam. It's 100% compatible with standard open form so you can put your own turbulence models uh, very easily you can you can you can for example you can write the case down on the disk and then you can you can then you can uh, for example change the turbulence properties and run the simulation this way or you can use a script a python script uh, very easy very simple uh, okay uh, well uh, where to define it? it's it's answered uh, where do you obtain your predictive values for example b2 over d2 there's a specific speed and are there for good estimate yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be better to provide a value instead from from dustin uh, i guess this is this is a question on oliver again um, yes um, well uh, again CF Turbo is based on, on Turbo Machine design theory, so we solve some balance equations, but in order to, to make a good initial design, we not only, uh, or it's not only enough to have these balance equations solved, but you also need this uh, information about some relations, about some similarity numbers, and these, those are taken from uh, from all available sources you can imagine. So for instance, if I go to our approximation functions on, on the hydraulic efficiency, again, there is um, there are um, curves given with, with the volume flow as a parameter and with uh, respect to the specific speed. And all these things are publicly available. The sources are also uh, always shown there. And uh, some of them might be based on our own experience, but most of, of them are from textbooks, from papers, and so on, and the references are given within the software. And the last word on that, if you feel that your uh, experience is different and you, you, you might have um, curves that have a different shape, at any time you can Add your own stuff here, incorporate it here, and use it, and it will still stay with you uh, on your desk, and and you don't have to share uh, the experience with us, for instance. Uh, okay, thank you, Oliver, for this. So, what's 
Okay, okay, Radek, so please go ahead. So I will, I will answer a few questions that I saw. So for example, what is the quality of the mesh, orthogonal quality and skewness? Uh, we told to ask this. So these information are included in this report. Uh, and here are the details in the mesh. Uh, okay, I, I should show my screen. Okay, I hope you see it right now. Okay, so here, Lubosh, do you see my screen? Yeah, yes, you do. Yeah, perfect. please go ahead. Yeah. So mesh size, in the mesh size, if you click on detail, you will see the details of each uh, of each mesh part. For example, non-orthogonality with maximum 64. So the limit, let's say, for the rate computation is 70 uh, for in the SnapX and for open form. So all informations are here. Question about Y plus. Here is the, let's say, the maximum value uh, and in overall mesh, but if you click in details, you will find the, uh, the minimum, maximum, and average values for um, for each part, for each STL, for each part of the geometry. So you can see that because we are using K-Omega SST standard, standard wall function, so the values should be less than 300 and higher than 30 or 40. So basically, we are in this range. So the details can be found here. And if for your particular geometry it is not OK, so you can change the setup for the meshing. OK, and okay. Other, there was other questions. Now, where is my question? Uh, huh, huh. Oh, uh, here, here. Uh, yeah, right. And there was a question about the efficiency 0 0.89. Isn't it too much? I guess it is not because it depends on the pump. And it, it can be seen that the CF Turbo is a really nice tool and you are able to, <laughs> yeah. to, the, the, so to design all. really high efficiency pumps. Yeah, so efficient already. Yeah. It's not needed. <laughs> But pst, don't, tell, don't tell anybody. Could you present some screen of the mesh? So I already did. I hope so. For example, this is the uh, this is the the mesh for the rotor part. So you can directly visualize it in Paraview. Uh, and there was maybe uh, one question regarding the hexadominant mesh. So hexadominant mesh. Let's say the structured mesh with the hexahedras is the best for CFD because CFD is based on the finite volume methods and finite volume methods likes really likes hexahedras and everything perpendicular to each other. So hexadominant mesh are convenient for CFD simulation using finite volume methods. Okay, so okay, okay. Uh, another question: uh, Is it possible to multi? Stage cascade stages uh, from Alistair. Question: um, Actually, yes, it is. You can you can compute uh, any number of stages. I think currently there is a, one condition you have to meet, which is the the speed of rotation has to be the same for all the rotors and or or for all the rotating uh, parts or components. Uh, but I think we are working on this, and and from uh, from the next version there will be, for example, uh, a uh, the option for for multiple speeds or for multiple rotating speeds of multiple components at the same time, but uh, of course multi stage is possible. So let's check check this question. Okay, yes, please. Okay, Rale. I I saw the question um, about the input of external mesh. So I will just quickly show that it is possible. If I go, do you see my screen? I hope. Elbosh. Would you check yes, 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 yes. And here in the components where the mesh is defined, you are options to define the geometry using STLs or external open foam mesh. It means you can, because open foam provides a lot of co conversions for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, external meshing tools, so you can you can convert it to the open foam and then load it directly here. So. Yeah, we are. We have good experience with loading the external machine, so yes, it is possible. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, I have. I, I think I see a couple of questions on CF Turbo now. So, is it is it possible to export the model to an external editor like SolidWorks uh, from Ellen um, Oliver? Would you? Would yes. you go for this? Yes, it, it is possible. Um, there are some neutral. Um, 
interfaces implemented, which means you can export step IGES STL, but there are also some switching to you. All right, okay. 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 So I will go to the export panel. And that's probably the best thing to show. So again, neutral um, formats can be exported, which are given here. And these are IGES step STL and boundary representation. And if you want to use these interfaces, you have to um, configure your 3D view accordingly. And everything what you see in the in the 3D view is then exported. So that's one part. And the other part is if you want to go for a certain cut um, specifications, they are given here. Uh, like yeah, SolidWorks or yeah, I think that was the question. Um, yeah. Anyway, though those uh, data are point based, and very often here macros are exported that can run into the uh, proper cut environment and can rebuild there a, a, the the geometry of the stage. Okay, and Lubosh, if you allow, I can also answer the next question, which of is yes, can, we give, can we give standard NACA profiles in, in, in CF Turbo? That's possible to a certain extent because what we have built in is a is a um, a profile manager which uh, have a couple of shipped NACA four digit profiles, some of the 65 series and also some of our uh, point based data. And those can be uh, uh, council, and those can be incorporated in the design step blade profiles. If I make the the profile to to freeform, maybe and rounded, getting you know, getting rid of of the filling, then I can right click on on the profile I want to uh, shape. And then I can say, okay, take a profile from our profile manager, and then I can choose from the built-in knockout profiles, for instance. I can generate new ones, and I can import some point-based one from from Excel, for instance. But what what you have to bear in mind for the centrifugal part or for the centrifugal mod modules, only the thickness defined by the knockout profiles is applied because the mean line is the camber line is already defined one design step before which is done here so yes you can incorporate it but it's only the thickness distribution that is applied yeah. okay okay thank you oliver for this and when we have you and your screen uh, active i would maybe uh, uh, I will point out the, the questions on, on CF Turbo, what, which I, I saw, uh, the one on, yeah, 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 there was a question on some surfaces, which I oh, can one right now. Well, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In CF Turbo, can you simulate a surface finish, which I'm, which is not very clear to me. But that's, mm -hmm. would you? Uh, uh, I think that the, that's uh, that's probably um, there's some some sort of of a confusion. CF Turbo is just a design package. If you want to simulate something, you should use a simulation package okay. like TCFD. Uh, but yeah, so it's yeah. not possible because it's not not uh, in our yeah. focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, or, or yeah, yeah, maybe um, yeah, the fillets or something. But but anyway, uh, uh, another question from UC Kangas. Yeah, hello UC. We've been in contact in the recent past. Hi. Uh, I would have a question uh, for CF Turbo. Overhanging volute uh, design for air compressor impeller. Basic design parameters and evaluation. How would it be done? Overhang volutes is just done by uh, if I go to the meridional view and go to the the volute, I can again choose the first uh, uh, the second design step, and here I would uh, choose from the from the general shapes we have implemented. One would be the round asymmetric, 
and the other thing would be uh, the round internal asymmetric and that's what I I just try to to show quickly with a certain uh, neck width maybe I'm doing that a bit bigger and the ratio could be also a bit smaller okay and if I press OK then what you see here is there is some sort of uh, intersection so probably the round asymmetric would be the better choose and it can be like that okay uh, okay uh, another question perhaps for CF Turbo is how can export the solid part of designed impeller from Majid uh, okay yeah that's that's again uh, I have to to configure my 3D view to the the part I want to um, export, and here it would be the uh, the let's let's do again a, a solid finishing. Here it would be just the the solid part of the impeller. I have to do a solid finishing before that, and if I then make that. Uh, discernible in the 3D view, get rid of all the other stuff which I don't want to see, uh, for instance the hub, then I have the solid part here and now I can use all the neutral um, export interfaces in a usual way. So just go somewhere, choose, for instance I just do the export and that's it. Okay, okay, so uh, another question, could you present some screen of the mesh, which is, I think we had one, uh, can we give, yeah, this was answered already, yeah, uh, are you able to export CFD pressure and velocity data to the neutral CGNS format for such subsequent uh, pre-processing -proce -proce uh, for acoustic analysis using aeroacoustic sources uh, from Peter. Uh, yes, uh, we have a, a converter, special converter of, of the results uh, to uh, CGNS format. Uh, as far as I know, it works. I'm, I'm I'm 100% sure it works for volumes, uh, but at the surfaces, I think uh, the, the, the CGNS format is not fully uh, compatible with open foam uh, interpretation of, for example, boundary conditions, but for sure for volumes and I, I think it's it's enough and, and it's as answering your question. So yes, yes we can. Uh, so it was this and I also saw uh, another important, yes, uh, hello, is it possible to import also other geometry not from CF Turbo, from Anna Lena? Uh, question. Uh, y yes, it is, of course. Uh, C CF Turbo is a uh, great, uh, easy to use tool uh, for, for turbo machine design. Uh, but if from from any reason you, you have your geometry already, of, of course you can import it in, in turbo machine CFD exactly the same way. You just just provide the surface geometry and the config configuration file or you you set up everything from a scratch in the in turbo machine cfd and you can you can simulate it and of course you can you can also load external external meshes from other cfd codes so it's in this sense it's very very compatible with it's very open on on both both ends uh, i mean uh, you can import anything and you can export in in you have many options in in exports so yes of course uh, Okay, I think I think we should. We have answered the the vast majority of of the questions. Yeah, so we are we are over time. So let's let's conclude. Let's conclude. So I'll I'll take the the presenting back. I'll go back to my to my screen. So can you see my screen right now? Yes. Can you? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So it's time to conclude. This is it for today's webinar. Uh, so feel free to contact us uh, in the future. I'm sure you know how to do that. The questions about the CF Turbo are to be sent to CF Turbo. The questions about Turbo Machine CFD are about to be sent to uh, CFD support, of course. Um, we will gladly support you in your Turbo Machinery projects.
it's our job and also a pleasure for us. Uh, yeah, anything, anything more to say, Oliver? Would you would you say something? Uh, yes, I thank you for your audience, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to your questions. Uh, yes, feel free. Don't hesitate to contact us in in case of any questions. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, and Radek, would would you would you add? Yeah, just uh, I think let me say that I really believe that in the in the CFD field. This soft our software and the synergy of CF Turbo and TCFD is the future of of turbo machinery virtual prototyping. So I really, yeah, it's really nice and uh, thank you also for for the uh, yeah thank you the audience and we are looking forward to to the future cooperation. <laughs> All right, so we would like to thank you for your attention. Uh, we are looking forward to collaborating with you, so stay tuned and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.